to them now. Introducing the referee on stage, Mr. Asuchi Onari. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting on the red corner, 23 years of age. He stands 165 centimeters tall and weighed in at 167 pounds. He holds record of 55 wins, five losses, and one draw. He is former Rajabha Stadium Alumni Stadium minimum weight champion and former Rajabha Stadium flyweight champion and the current Rajabha Stadium super flyweight interim champion. Fighting out of Yokohama, Japan, the children for Nanaga. His opponent fighting of the blue corner, 30 years of age. He stands 167 centimeters tall and weighed in at 16.1 pounds. He will record 53 wins and 24 losses. He is silver medalist in both both games. Former SBS European featherweight champion and former WMC European featherweight champion fighting out of Alicante, Spain. Let's hear it for Kevin. Martinez! Thank you to Mizuki for announcing round one for us. We are about to start round the action. One. And that is round one, Spain taking on Japan. Kevin Martinez in the white representing Spain takes on Nadaka from Japan in the black. Round one, scheduled for three. This is bout number eight, part of the main card. And a very fast start by both of these fighters exchanging kicks. We've got a classic southpaw against an orthodox. Good movement there by Nadaka, just trying to circle around and get into the kicking position. Trying to slap up that beautiful southpaw kick up onto the arms of Kevin, take out the punching power. The fire's now in the center of the ring, and yeah, a southpaw against an orthodox is definitely going to be a battle of the footwork, as we saw just then. Nadaka sends a beautiful left kick upstairs after tripling the jab. And a right kick upstairs landed by Kevin. Low kick lands and a flick in jab by Nadaka. Ooh, beautiful mixing up the levels there by Nadaka. Goes up top, goes down low. Beautiful boxing by the technician. That's why he is a multiple weight division champion, Jimmy. Yeah, tripling the jab to set up the left kick upstairs. A very nice move for a southpaw to basically move your opponent to the left and then send it upstairs. So he's, he's jabbing, makes Kevin move to his right-hand side and then Nadaka throws that left kick upstairs. Just beautiful stuff as Kevin attempts a right kick upstairs. Kevin trying to throw everything but the kitchen sink here. Big looping hooks, throwing for the fences. Tidy, tidy boxing by the man from Japan. We've seen a lot of that tonight. The Japanese fighters have beautiful boxing. Of course, Inoue being in one of the pound for pounds, they definitely have got someone to look up to as well. And a nice step up knee lands to the midsection by Nadaka. Kevin's got to be very careful. He doesn't take too many more of those. Kevin trying to go for the straight right there. Sticking to Nadaka, trying to get him in the pocket. Nadaka just moving, moving, being very evasive. And the, that exchange, and then a left and a right eaten by Kevin. Kevin has taken a lot of damage early on in the first round, 20 seconds to go. Nadaka showing Kevin more variations than a tapas buffet. Which is very interesting considering his opponent is from Spain where Tapas was invented. And Nadaka relentless with the timing, the evasion, absolutely fantastic. He counters after a shot. End of round number one. Wow. 
Bowlers.net.com. Bowlers in the world. And thank you to Mizuki for showing us that it is around two. Very good. Round and keep in everyone two. entertained. Even if you're not a fan of fighting, you can be a fan of the rounds. And here we are, round number two. Underway, we have Spain taking on Japan. Nadaka in the black takes on Evan Martinez in the white from Spain. We know Nadaka is up by one round and he throws a double left kick. What will Kevin do? Beautiful step up knee there from Nadaka just a moment ago. And I think Kevin might be listening. He's trying to push Nadaka into that pocket, but Nadaka just moves on the moves on the outside with ease. The fight IQ of Nadaka has been beautiful. He's evading damage. He's locking Kevin up, not allowing Kevin to get the combinations off. And a teep attempted by Kevin as Nadaka just keeps sticking that range, find the jab out, and a left kick upstairs, and he doubles it up. Steps in, explodes in. Kevin definitely got some nice kicks upstairs as he whips that right kick upstairs, but Nadaka constantly out of range. The range advantage by Nadaka has been absolutely fantastic. Nadaka. Beautiful step up knee there from Nadaka. As Kevin swings for the fences again, steps up again. Just explodes into the movement. Nadaka, I think has wobbled Kevin just a little bit with that left hand as he throws an elbow inside the clinch. Nadaka has seen something we haven't with a left kick upstairs and a knee to the midsection. Beautiful head kick too. Mixes up the levels again, goes up high, goes down low, goes for the leg kick. Nadaka is playing chess. Kevin is playing checkers. Nadaka is three steps ahead of Kevin every time on every exchange. Teep to the leg from Kevin Martinez. Beautiful popping left hand there and counter hook by Nadaka. Less than a minute to go of round number two. Nadaka looks like he's on ice skates in that ring, just dancing around and landing the combinations he needs to. But this is not Disney on ice. This is the Roger Dunnern World Series doubling up with that left kick there. Down low. A nice left hand no, landed by Nadaka. Nadaka uses the jab and then a knee to the body. Knocks Kevin back, but Nadaka touches his glove as well. Both fighters in the center of the ring as Kevin gets desperate and charges with a right hand. Beautiful cross block there by Nadaka, showing his defensive skills too. Not only can he attack, but he can defend. Good ring control. Beautiful kick up high. Kevin really needs to take the fight to Nadaka now. <laughs> I think a very frustrating round for Kevin Martinez there. Not a the analogy there. Kevin has got to be active. He's got to go for it. It's now or never. You're in Chiba, Japan, in Tipster Stadium on RWS. You need to do something. So third and final round. Kevin Martinez from Spain in the white takes on Nadaka from Japan in the black. Can he do it? He needs to be hungry in this one. Really put the pressure on Nadaka, not allow Nadaka to control. Beautiful redirection there. Just, did you see that, Jimmy? I Just did. slapped the arm, moved around like John Travolta in Saturday Night Fever. The footwork, the footwork, the footwork. It's all about the footwork, Jimmy. Yeah, it's, it's definitely, definitely just dominating the footwork battle. I mean, a dominant southpaw dominates divisions, and Nadaka has done exactly that. Kevin looks like he's just out of the ideas, and I think Nadaka is just one level above in this fight. And of course, Nadaka is fighting in his home country of Japan. So all credit to Kevin, because Kevin's still going forward. Kevin is not giving up, and I like to see this as he throws a right hand upstairs, but Nadaka counters with a left. Beautiful left hand straight through the middle, follows up with the step up knee. Just so explosive as well, Jimmy. Yeah, Nadaka has just thrown everything perfectly. Everything has been methodical. And a teeth upstairs, 
and he trips his opponent as he combs his hair back. A slickster he is, Nadaka. He's definitely cooler than the Fonz in this round. And he throws a teep to the chest of Kevin. Kevin's confidence must be shook right now. He's stepping into someone else's country and Nadaka is having a field day here. But all credit to Kevin. He has not once given up. He is constantly bringing that fight to his opponent. He's trying to win and that's the main thing here. The thing about the Japanese audience is even if you're losing, they appreciate a good fighter, but Nadaka, five jabs, followed up by a left hand. I, I've never seen someone box so beautifully in a round like this in Muay Thai, just beautifully dancing around less than a minute to go round number three. Nice nullification of the clinch there by Nadaka. Nakara on the back foot, just looking to protect his points. He doesn't need to do much. Straight to the body, up high with the head kicks. Slapped it up on Kevin's arm there. Just playing with Kevin at this point. 100% just dancing around as Kevin Nobody's still throws those go. big hands upstairs. Kevin knows he's down on the scorecards. Kevin knows he needs a knockout to win. And I appreciate him not stepping back. He's constantly going for it. Will Nadaka dance his way to victory in Algeria or will he try and finish Kevin as he flats an onslaught and it looks like he's going in. He smelt blood. And he's going forward, trying to finish out the round strong. A big onslaught from the man from Japan. And that is the end of the third and final round. So have a look at the action replays in just a second. Absolute technician. Nadaka, multiple weight champion, mixing up the levels there, mixing up the technique. And a real mixed bank of the man. Technician, constantly finds the opening and the angles. We're going to go to Veer in just a moment with the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, of the three rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judge's scorecard. All three judges, score is about 30 to 27. Declaring your winner by way of unanimous decision. Red Corner! Nadaka Ewa Sports Team!